Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a very special message from Mike Indeglio and Keith Varney. Keith and I had a long chat, and we decided, do you know what our viewers would really love? Less of us. And so, we're providing you that gift. We're going to take the next week of shows off to enjoy with our families, to uh, let you enjoy with your families. But we didn't want to let the opportunity go by to at least say happy holidays, happy whatever you celebrate. Uh, enjoy some time to yourself. We're going to see you in the new year uh, with a whole bunch of fun, fun, good stuff. But I, 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 Keith, where are you and what's happening? Well, yeah. Well, first off, I would like to say happy holidays to everybody. And if you're not celebrating a holiday or the holidays are a t time of like misery and sadness for you, uh, which is true for way more of us than we uh, like to say, mm -hmm. uh, I got your back. And uh, I hope you are well as well and have a uh, have a safe and happy experience, whatever the experience is, good, bad, ugly, or some weird combination of all of them Fair. as it is for most of us uh yeah so i am up at my parents house in vermont and i went up a day early because of this giant storm um that is blowing across the country and has arrived here last night um and uh, both in new jersey and here today there's going to be a temperature drop of over 40 degrees throughout the course of the day. And uh, so here in Vermont, we got a bunch of warnings last night that we were going to have wind gusts up to 80 miles an hour here in the in the forest. And uh, so it should probably not be a giant surprise. We have no power here up in Vermont. Um, and it looks like we're not going to have power for a couple of days. Uh, but Mike's like, we got another Christmas show. We got another Christmas show. And I'm like, you know, like five minutes. And I'm like, I am literally... I mean this not ironically, pushing a generator up a mud hill after filling a bunch of water jugs out of the frozen, we had to cut a hole in the frozen pond to pull water jugs out to flush the toilets. And in the like monsoon rain happening, uh, I don't think Mike quite understands the Laura Ingalls Wilder of it all going on here in Vermont. It's like, oh, I'm just here cozy with my cats. I'm like, I'm up to my knees in mud and pond water. Hey, it's snowing here too, man. It's snowing here too. <laughs> it's not snowing here yet, actually. It's still warm. Oh, interesting. Uh, but uh, uh, for everybody's uh, concerns, we're great. We're fine. We have everything we need. We do have a generator. The house is wood heated. So uh, we will be warm. We will have- Keith, uh, the, the joke of it all to me, uh, since we're on Geekly, I'll say it, uh, is this is the highest resolution and frame rate you've ever fed me. <laughs> well, it's it's the new Mexico uh, cam. Yeah, there you go. I'm that's, getting that that's... full 60 frames. It's buttery. Mm. It's buttery. Yeah, there. Which is ironic because we're not even on real internet. We're on the we're on the T-Mobile 5G internet thingy, which we can only get 4G up here in the mountains. Hey, you know what? So you get you take the G's you can get, buddy. I, I I'm intensely grateful for it because I'll be able to watch my Giants tomorrow, and uh, even though we have no power, so. gratitude is the word of the day. We are taking this time only to say thank you. Uh, we know we owe our patrons some fun stuff. If you want to join the patron team, you can do so at. Uh, Patreon.com slash K and M. Uh, we thank all of those guys. We, but we thank everybody. We just wanted to say happy holidays. But we won't leave you empty-handed today. Uh, no. We have a, a, a good friend of the show, uh, JD, who has dropped some fun Christmas customs, Keith. You can check those out. He had put a video out. We'll have it in the, in the link below. Uh, but we want yeah, to him, him reading a Klingon Christmas story. I can't like, wait to Like uh, read, reading Rainbow style. Like you definitely don't want to miss this. Uh He's done some custom figures, Mike. So let's go ahead and take a look. There, we'll start it out here. Let me blow it up. So first. this is Klingon Claws and Christmas Morn, uh, <laughs> which those are phenomenal and fantastic. And, uh, so JD said he he did uh, Christmas Morn last year, and this year's uh, Christmas one is, uh, is Klingon Claws. I, I think this is going to be a, a running collection that... I, I don't know, JD. I think you should mass produce and sell these as tree or, tree ornaments. How did he do it? The beards are really good, like really good. There, I I have no idea how we did it. Well, I, I know JD sculpts a lot with resin and, uh. and and that kind of stuff, and the hats and the paint job is beautiful. I I no joke 
think these would be fantastic Christmas ornaments. Oh, heck yeah. And you could do a whole line of them. All you have to do is like drill a little hole and put the, you know, put the, the hook on there mm-hmm. and a whole tree of that would be amazing. Well, let's see what else we got from JD. Yeah. So he said, yeah. So these are more, more version, more, more pictures of these two figures. It's badass. Look at the, look at the detail work, the gold painting on the, on the foot shivs and the, the gauntlets there. <laughs> you know, I'm, you know, I'm partial to a foot shiv. I know you are. That's God. Those are amazing. I, I, JD, I gotta say, this might be some of your finest work. Yeah, I, I, can I? Is it? Is it? What? Is it not Christmassy for me to say me wanty? Uh, well, I don't think there's ever an appropriate time for you to say me wanty because <laughs> I just feel uncomfortable. But <laughs> oh, this is good. But oh, those are those are fantastic. Yeah. So uh, if you know, I wasn't necessarily feeling the Christmas spirit running around in the mud, but I think those ornaments might have just done it. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be really fun and, you know, I enjoy, I enjoy goofy weather. Yeah, totally. So I, I enjoy the excitement of it all. We, uh, uh, Charlie's doing fine. Oh, did he make the trip? He's, okay. Charlie made the trip. Okay. He did not like the car, but he eventually calmed down. So now he's, uh, my parents have a dog who's very excited. And so Charlie's like, hell no, but the, he has the entire top floor all to himself. So he can, and he can watch us from above well we get ceo jen home for a couple days she's got to leave yeah. early christmas morning so that's that's really exciting to me um we're 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 doing some quick decorating of the house we're listening to the charlie brown christmas on vinyl my favorite christmas f- tradition and uh yeah that's what we're gonna do today uh, i'm supposed to have a show tonight but i don't i don't know if that's gonna happen you know that's gonna have oh you have got a show tonight well are you guys doing stockings well, we were going to hold on. Let me get the camera panning here. We were going to like not just do stockings this year, but hope oh, wrong way. But it turns out I don't oh, know. Holy crap! It looks like maybe Santa showed up. So oh, wow. All right. Well, God, jeez. You guys are you guys are doing a very serious Christmas. Do you, do you guys the two of you have a lot of like traditions yourselves or? We used to have a great tradition where we would we would uh, sw- switch families. We'd go visit her family once a year. The next year mm-hmm. we would visit my family, and then the th- every third year we would take a vacation, um, which was great. We went to Disney one time and we did uh, Harry Potter World on Christmas Eve, and it was awesome. But uh, I think we talked about it a week ago or two. But yeah. no, we don't have any specific traditions. We our big thing is uh, we try to do Christmas morning together and listen to Charlie Brown. And I got a little solo stove because we're not allowed to have a fire pit on a terrace. So I have a little, the smallest right. solo stove. It's basically just bigger than a candle. Something huge is getting delivered. Huge. Ooh, to you? Must or be just... the, must be the next door neighbor. There's no way. Unless I got a really cool present. I didn't send you anything. Yeah. So be prepared for zero expectations. So that's well, it. That's fun. You're going to be in a winter wonderland. I'm going to be in this little apartment. But you know what? Regardless, we're trying to feel the, the feels. We wanted to say thank you to everybody. That's really all we've got. That's really all I wanted to say. Uh, I just yeah. wanted to, to let everybody know, yeah, don't it's... get don't get freaked out when you don't see uh, uh, our normal shows, but we'll be back uh, starting with Geekly the following Monday. Yeah, or, I, yeah, we might, and who knows? We might get a nine, a, a a nine or in there yeah, anyway. Yeah, but, yeah. but anyway, but but yes, uh, and, and we'll we'll do a, we're going to do a New Year's Geekly. We're going to do For some sure. uh, resolutions, that kind of stuff. Um but to, uh, to, to finish with some gratitude, uh, this was a big year for us. Um, we This year, we transitioned. We finished our Out of Practice show. Um, Cry- check it out. It's cried. David E. Kelly's The Practice. We did the whole, the entire series. It is available. Some of it's on YouTube, but all of it is on your podcast feeds. We launched uh, Deep Space Nine. We launched k and Geekly. And we hit our 1,000 subscribers, which we worked very hard, uh, and we couldn't have done it without you yep. and all of your incredible generosity and support um, in, ge- you know, generous in sending all sorts of stuff, but that's, and that's wonderful supporting the show, but more importantly, just generosity and spirit uh, supporting us as people and our interests and showing up in the comments and emailing. And, and like, we, I, I genuinely feel like I've built a whole new 
you know, group of friends out of this. And for that, I am very grateful. Yeah, we've made it a point to we've made it a point to try to respond to everybody who writes on the show or writes an email. Uh, That's eventually. Yeah. uh, (laughs) Keith and Mike Entertainment at gmail.com. Look at my Star Trek toys at gmail.com. And I think that's uh, K and M geek. Well, let, those are the two. Use those two. Whatever. Regardless, my point is, is that it's getting to the point where sometimes it, we're getting a little bit of backlog because there's a few people now. But I did want to say we read every email. We read every reply. We we read every. We flame absolutely. every troll. And we flame every troll, and we will get. We're going to respond to everybody at, at once we get some sleep. So. Yeah. Uh, uh, but that's it. But, Keith and I aren't yeah. great with our, our feels, so uh, you know this is us trying to say we uh, we really love you. We we thank you. So yeah. that there you go. That's that's and, and yeah. Keith, you know you know how I feel about you, buddy. Yeah, watch, yeah, yeah, yeah. watch the yeah, end yeah, of yeah, we, watch the end of out of practice. We, we, you want to see us cry at we each did other? This we've, already. <laughs> we've already done that. But uh, but yeah, everybody have a fantastic. Uh, whatever you celebrate or not celebrate, if you're having a shitty time, let us know uh, below hang what you in do. There. Yeah, let us know. Yeah, everybody hang in there. Have a great time. Have a terrible time. But be back next week. Until then, this is Keith and Mike for Keith and Mike Entertainment. Yeah.